So this battery has definitely uh, taken quite a bit. It's been sitting at 4.2, but uh, for quite a while it started at 3.9, and we're already seeing 1,050 milliamp hours, and the battery was probably at about 80% already. I don't know what kind of capacity that puts it at, but pretty good, I guess. Um, I've got the other one over here, and it's charging, but it, it showed that it charged really fast. I know this charger is slow, but one of the advantages of this charger is that, um, oops, sorry about that, um, the, uh, you can calculate what it's doing. Um, so... I really like these lights. I think maybe one thing that might be kind of bad about it is they feel kind of light. But then again, I think also um, we come to the conclusion that these have the wrong lights in them or they're missing uh, something. So there should be a tube in here and there's not. So now the light for its size is somewhat light. I'm going to put this other one in here. I'm trying to remember, so I'm charging at 1 amp, and I think channel 1 and 2 are on the same bank. Um, but see, now we're at half an amp charging. So 1 and 3 might be on the same bank. Let's try 4. Okay. So I put it on four. We have one amp charging. You can't see it though. I really like this charger. I bought this charger. I reviewed it probably about a year ago, but I've used it now more than I've ever used it in the last little bit because of the ability to charge these type of batteries. So this battery here is reading that it's basically full. Oh, but in the flashlight, it's probably stopped charging. Um, but it's going to continue to charge quite a bit. So, in some instances, you actually might be better off with a light that doesn't have on more charging. Um, but coming back over to this light, <coughs> there's some similarities in construction to other lights. Now, in the ad for this particular light, um, that name wasn't on it anywhere. And the box that this comes with actually has a lot of information on it, unlike what you would normally see. There's a the manufacturer's name, their address, the uh, business name EC I don't know what that is European console who knows no uh, business name like Sun GmbH rep Essen Germany Gabriel hotmail.com UK business name Kova associated LTD uh, so, anyway, this is um, the name on Amazon was Unimac, but it, you don't see that name on here. There's a depiction of one of these other type of lights, the 26650 type of lights. Um, they've actually packaged it pretty good, I thought. Um, so, one of the things that I didn't notice until just a few minutes ago, though, was I was like, oh, what's this? Okay. So, this is a picture of a completely different light, but they're talking about the 10 watt and the 30 watt series lights. And, we can move this over here. Maybe it'll focus. Um, so, it, it says. Uh, 30 watt long distance series products have basic brightness. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, 
it says it's not recommended to use a battery of 115 or 1500 milliamp hour or less for the choice of the battery is recommended to use a tipped 18650 26 650 lithium battery of 1500 milliamp hour or more well we've already tried a 26 650 and it doesn't fit so this is obviously not for this light which is really strange um, and like I said the box doesn't look right but the batteries say Gabriel on them and the light says Gabriel on them um, so um, let's see but I don't think this is the 30 watt light because I think in the ad it said 20 watt so um, it just tells you how to hook it up and this and that and then on the next page there's some more information. It says three notes. Do not shine directly into the eyes. My goodness. Do not over voltage. Voltage should not exceed 4.2. Um, let's see. When using the flashlight, there. Check that there is no looseness in each thread. Blah blah. blah. Charging instructions. Common problems solved. Um, and then the other side is in German. Manufactured by Hong Kong Suntop Trade Co. Limited. And so there's like just different addresses for this thing. So obviously not the correct box for this light, I guess. But I mean, it does say Gabriel. Um, so they included just a USB cord and these glow in the dark diffusers. They literally glow in the dark. I mean, they're kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to turn it off. You can see it's glowing kind of green. Anyway, um, so it, it appears to be like a halfway decent light. I just, I don't, I don't know what the hell happened with the battery tube and all that you know I'm pretty sure that the instructions are for a completely different flashlight and I think somebody dropped the ball somewhere this was supposed to come with something else when I when I was on the website looking at these other um, these other lights that are similar they showed a tube let me see if I can find it yeah right here <coughs> this one so this one here we know this is the same light we can look at the design marks on here and see so so with this one they're not real clear about what it comes with um, let's see what this goofy review shows just a guy shining it on his ceiling. One thing is nice about some of these videos is like, well, you can see when they zoom it out, he did it very quickly, but you can see that it zooms out to a round circle and you can't see the shape of the LED other than the fact that it's red or round, I mean. So, he zooms out so fast it's absolutely annoying. It's like, at first when I saw that I thought maybe they were trying to zoom it to a certain point so you wouldn't see the square window shape of the LED. But that is in fact what it looks like from what I can tell. Um, what I'm wondering is if he's going to show any kind of adapters or anything that are in the, in the light. It's kind of basically like what mine came with, you know. Just no case. And that's just absolutely stupid. Oh, it's waterproof. Have you noticed that he had like the <laughs> the battery cover open too? I 
But don't get me wrong, I, I like the light. I just, uh, I need to make sure about the battery thing. So I, I think what I'll end up probably doing, and I don't think it's like that big of a deal of it floating around in there, but I'm gonna um, see if I can find if maybe somebody's already made an adapter. An 18, an 18650 to 21, um, 700 sleeve. One of the other flashlights has some sleeves in the box that actually might be for this. Jeez, it almost looked like my own kitchen. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what, are, what is my kitchen doing on here? We kind of have like the same setup of the microwave and the stove. I almost thought it was our house for a second. I'm like, what the hell? This is a long video. Um, but anyway, I don't think he's going to show anything as far as the tubes go. It'd be interesting to see if there's any difference in quality um, in some of the other lights. Uh, by these other companies. This has actually got pretty good reviews. Uh, 400 and something. And four and a half star reviews. Let's click see all photos and just kind of see what we can get out of here. It looks the same to me. And it's definitely going to have that, like, chromatic abrasion. Here's a picture of somebody removed the end of it. What does it say? Inner dome cover popped out within seven days of use. Um, okay. I'm looking at it, and like, is it screwed in there? I think it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's definitely screwed in there. got the proper o-ring on it though but the o-ring is not seated properly this is really nice actually it's got anodized threads you see if we can get this uh, o-ring seated on there a little bit better also um, if you're really concerned about these being uh, watertight you might lubricate them with something. I don't know uh, what would be safe to use. Um, this thing's kind of sitting up there a little bit. It doesn't really want to sit. Um, so it's probably fine, but um, I don't know what I would spray it with or put on there. Maybe some armor all. I just think it, because if you put like Vaseline or something on the rubber, it could break it down possibly. Um, this thing's not really sitting in there appropriately. So, what they're showing in this picture isn't really going to happen unless you lose the ring. It screws in. That's really nice looking. I actually really like the construction of this light. Now, I wonder if we look up that, if we'll end up finding this light somewhere for sale on eBay or something. But, um, it's, it's definitely, um, let's see, what does he say? I'm guessing the heat from the bulb created pressure inside the dome and popped it out. I drive a forklift at work. It was in good working condition when I started my shift. By the end of the day, the dome ended up missing the flashlight itself. It's super bright. Battery life is exceptional. I like the different settings. I only wish it was built to last. Well, you need to check these things, you know, when you get them, because, like, you saw how I just took this one and, and like, literally, it 
I can't twist it out now, but it was loose. Um, see, also, like, right here, I, I just barely turned it, and it's also loose. So this is actually um, nice quality. So if you wanted to flip the clip around, you could flip the clip around. You wanted to access the driver and all that, you could get in there and do that too. Um, so, all in all, and actually the tube is um, coated. Interesting. So, anyway, let's carry on with this. Uh, I was just trying to read the rest of that. Somebody got one sitting in their car. <clears throat> they are larger than they look. Uh-oh. That's fixable, though. Um, these all do kind of have, like, a pressed-in thing. Um... So let's see if the threads are reversible. So you can put the clip that way. And you can put the clip that way. So with this light, you want to make sure that everything is tight. Just check everything first, you know. Uh, let's see here. They don't show the batteries. Okay, here's the battery right here. Um, but I, I can't read what it says on the battery, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay, uh, open image in a new tab. Okay, where am I at? Nope. Oh, where's the new tab? Uh, okay. LED, it says it's a 21R L28. What is that? Um, so that must be similar to a 21700. 21R radius length 28, whatever that is. So. I think it's another way of expressing the size of the battery. Um, so basically they've given me the wrong batteries with mine and given me inferior batteries more or less. I mean it, it, an 18650 is going to be inferior to a 21700. So um, the only thing I can really do here locally is to probably go to a vape shop and see if they have any. Um, I don't know if there's anything open. It's 4 o'clock here. And it might be. It's Friday. I mean, I'm sure something's open Saturday. I'm not really sure I even care. Like, I don't know. But I, I'm pretty sure the battery in this picture in question is... The 18650, <clears throat> or not the 18650, the 21700. They don't really say anything here. They've give you a couple pictures. No tubes. So maybe somebody will show a little bit better. Now they say something else on them. Same magnet on the bottom. This paperwork here is kind of interesting. It shows to me what looks like the correct paperwork. Doesn't look like mine. Same driver so this is kind of like playing detective on Amazon you know it just what it is but pretty sure we can determine that it's a 21700 